Hi everyone. In our last video, which was ukulele lesson 3.5, um, I introduced you to the C chord. And the C chord is the first time I have to use that third finger and I'm putting it on the third fret on the first string. So in the songs that we played in the last video, that was super simple because we were just staying on that chord the whole time. But today, we're gonna work on chords moving from F to C, okay? So you guys all know F super well, and you know how to get to C7 super well, but now we wanna go from F to C. And we're gonna do three songs with this, and as always, they are zipper songs. The last one, not so much, but it can also be a zipper song. The first song is an environmental song. The second song is a civil rights song. And the third song is a labor rights song, the right to fair wages. And these were songs that came out of labor unions where people were, were fighting to get workers the rights and protections that they need to have in order to earn a fair salary. So we'll get to that story in a bit. But first, let's do the environmental song. This is a song called Recycling Pawpaw, okay? Because it is based on an old American folk song called The Pawpaw Patch. But we're gonna turn it into a recycling song. So I'm gonna start slow so that you can see these changes, okay? Mm, start on F. Pick up the trash, don't put it in the trash bin. Go to C. Pick up the trash, don't put it in the trash bin. Back to F. Pick up the trash, don't put it in the trash bin. Put it, go to C. Put it in the recycling. Back to F. All right, let's pick up the pace a little bit. Pick up the trash, don't put it in the trash bin. C. Pick up the trash, don't put it in the trash bin. F. Pick up the trash, don't put it in the trash bin. Put it in the recycling. Back to F. So what is the trash we're gonna pick up? Let's start with some paper bags, okay? Pick up the bags, don't put them in the trash bin. Pick up the bags, don't put them in the trash bin. Pick up the bags, don't put them in the trash bin. Put them in the recycling. Now let's pick up some bottles carefully, right? Pick up the bottles, don't put them in the trash bin. Pick up the bottles, don't put them in the trash bin. Pick up the bottles, don't put them in the trash bin. Put them in the recycling. Now let's pick up some boxes. Pick up the boxes, don't put them in the trash bin. Pick up the boxes, don't put them in the trash bin. Pick up the boxes, don't put them in the trash bin. Put them in the recycling. Let's pick up some cans. Pick up the cans, don't put them in the trash bin. Pick up the cans, don't put them in the trash bin. Pick up the cans, don't put them in the trash bin. Put them in the recycling. Put it in the trash bin, put it in the recycling, and I began. 
planning. Go back to C. Put it in the recycling. One more time. C. Put it in the recycling. All right. So remember, if you couldn't figure out where I was, you couldn't follow my fingers, you can pause the video and go back and read it again. Look at my fingers. Listen to the music. Follow the pattern. It's just going F, back to C, back to F, back to C, back to F. And the next song is using the exact same chords. The next song is called Over My Head. Okay? And it's a civil rights song. It's a zipper song. So again, you can add in your ideas to keep the practice time going for F to C. And... <clears throat> We'll do it slow once so you hear it and you hear the changes and maybe see the changes with my fingers right oh over my head i see freedom in the air i'm still on f now i'm going over my head go to c i see freedom in So that's the first verse. So we'll play the first verse again, and this time I won't call out the changes. Let's see if you can follow my fingers, okay? Over my head, I see freedom in the air. Over my head, I see freedom in the air. Over my head, I see freedom in the air. Yeah. 
a civil rights song called Over My Head. So this last song is kind of silly sounding, but it actually has a very, very serious message. And this is a song that was my grandfather's favorite song. And he used to sing this to me all the time when I was little because my grandfather was a union man. My grandfather had been part of something called the IWW, the International Workers of the World, um, also known as the Wobblies. And they were very, very, very important in this country's fight for um, fair working conditions for people because people used to, first of all, kids used to have to work from the time they were about five. And people would work seven days a week from the time the sun came up till the time the sun went down. And if it was winter, they would get there before the sun came up and they would stay until after the sun went down. So the eight hour work day that many people now have was not a reality in this country for a very long time until the IWW and other labor unions worked very hard and went on strike a lot for people to get fair working conditions. And now, of course, we again have a situation where people do not have fair working conditions. So I'm sure you've heard of the fair minimum wage, and that is um, that everybody, no matter what job they're working, will be earning enough so that they can feed themselves and their families and pay their rent and pay for the gas in their cars and all those other things. So a fair minimum wage. So this song is kind of poking fun at that because lots of times people will say, well, if you don't have a job, it's because you're lazy. And in this song, this is a song that came out of the Depression era, which is a whole other story in history. And in the Depression era, people were trying to work, but there was no jobs. So they tried to get um, fair wages, and there were no fair wages. So this is a song called Hallelujah, I'm a Bum, okay? Because people used to call people bums if they weren't working. But of course in this song, the person singing it is saying, I'm not a bum, I would work if there was work. So, like I said, this was the song my grandfather used to sing me all the time. It goes like this. Why don't you work like other men do? How the heck can I work if there's no work to do? Hallelujah, I'm a bum. Hallelujah, bum again. Hallelujah, give us a hand out to revive us again. All right, that's how the song goes. Let's go slower, starting on F. Oh, why don't you work like other men do? How the heck can I work? There's go to see no work to do. Stay there. Hallelujah, I'm a bum F. Hallelujah, bum again C. Hallelujah, give us a hand out back to F to revive C us again. So like a lot of the songs at the end, it goes F, C, F pretty quickly. So let's do that whole verse again, and then I'll sing you some of the other verses that were my grandfather's favorites too. Oh, why don't you work like other men do? How the heck can I work when there's no work to do? Hallelujah, I'm a bum. Hallelujah, bum again. Hallelujah, give us a hand out to revive us again. I went to a house and I asked for some bread. The 
So that is a person being sarcastic and saying, you're calling me lazy because I'm not working. You're calling me a bum. I'm not a bum. I would work if there was work for me to do. So it has a lot to do with our labor situation in the world right now. Okay, so we did three songs with F and C. In the next video, we are going to learn yet another chord. See you then.